Hey, what's up guys? Squiblet here. Today I just wanted to make a quick video on what I think are the three most important things you can do to win more in League of Legends solo queue. Now I realize that there are a lot of other videos out there like this one saying uh, to do all kinds of things to improve your win rate and climb all the way to whatever ELO. But I'm here to tell you that the three things I'm about to tell you are by far and away the most important things you can get good at and practice at to win in League of Legends. This is an unscripted video, by the way, so excuse my uh, brief silences if I don't know what to say. But uh, this background game is just a ranked game I played earlier in the day. I am playing Akali in the mid lane, so enjoy that for the brief minutes. Uh, it is playing in this video. So I'm going to announce these uh, tips in order of least prevalent to most important to ensure that you all watch till the very end to get the most um, the most knowledge out of this video, if you know what I mean. So number one, the first main thing to do while you're playing ranked solo queue and league is to play champions you are good at. People tell you to play what's meta and blah blah blah. Screw the meta, screw what the pros are playing, play champs that you're good at. If you're level 7 and have a million mastery on Teemo, for sure, play Teemo, man. Play what you're good at, screw the meta, just play comfort picks, especially in lower ELOs, especially anywhere from bronze to plat. Comfort picks will get you a long way. Number two, I'd say this is in game the most important thing to do is to look at your mini map. Really be aware of where the champions on the map are. Uh, pay attention to Mia pings. And guess what? If you're looking at your mini map every five to ten seconds, you don't even need Mia pings. So you won't be able to rage at your teammates for not calling Mia because you'll be looking at your mini-map. And the example I use, like to use best for this is up in the top lane. So ignore what's going on right now. Imagine that my Urgot was pushed up to, he to here, right about, and he had this bush warded. Now imagine their enemy jungler came up through following my mouse up here. Now this Urgot has warded this bush, so if he's looking at his mini-map, as soon as the Evelyn shows up right here at the ward line, the Urgot sees her and backs right off. But if the Urgot is not looking at the mini-map, and he's just paying attention to his screen right here, he doesn't see the jungler until they're like right next to them. So even though the Urgot warded, it means absolutely nothing because he wasn't paying attention to his mini-map. And that's what I like to emphasize on this point. Warding will not do you any good if you don't look at your mini-map. Because when your, your camera is on your champion, on your lane, you're not going to be able to see the jungler pass over your ward until it's too late and you're already dead. So those are the two uh, big ones I like uh, to emphasize, at least for the in-game perspective. But this final point I want to make is really the number one thing anybody in the world can do to win at League of Legends. Whether you're an Iron, whether you're in Diamond, whether you're an even in Challenger or a Pro Player. The best thing you can do to win in league is to just get damn lucky you can't practice it you can't get better at it but all you got to do is get lucky because in the end league of legends is a team game you can look at your mini map you can play comfort champions you can have the best mechanics in the world but if you're 10 and 0 and the rest of your team is 10 and, and 0 and 10 you're probably not going to win that game. So the best thing you can do in this game to win more is to get lucky. And I played eight solo queue games today, and I only won four of them. And I made no progress, because my MMR is poo-poo, 
because my teams have also been poo-poo. And I do not wish that same fate upon all of you who are watching this video right now. But take my advice. Play comfort champs. Look at your mini-map. But in the end, all it takes is some good luck. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have the best possible experience in all of your solo queue games. From now until the end of time. Have a good night guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.